Hey everybody, I'm back with another update of what's happened here in Southern Utah and today I'm back here on exit 6 where we've had a lot happen since the last time I was here. This exit is one of the most important in St. George as, as it is the most centrally located. It has different shoot offs to different parts of town, leads right into downtown St. George uh, and pretty soon will actually be an entrance up onto Tech Ridge. Uh, that's why you've seen so much action here lately. Uh, lots going on, look forward to showing you. So let's get started. First up, we'll talk about Commerce Point, uh, which has become the main anchor for retail and restaurants on this exit. It makes up this area where I'm at. It goes across the street behind the Maverick as well as up the hillside. So for starters, uh, behind the Maverick, we've got a new swig that just recently opened, along with the Beans and Brews uh, that's now open as well, uh, just on the north side. There is a third spot in that building next to Swig. It's another restaurant, super excited for it. I can't say what it is just yet, uh, but they are going through city planning and hoping to announce it pretty soon. From there, another exciting announcement is right behind me. They've broken ground and started footings on the new Longhorn Steakhouse. A lot of people have asked me about this recently. Uh, they've, they're in the works now, uh, not sure on completion, uh, but I know a lot of people are excited to have another steakhouse in town. Now staying in the same parking lot, the commercial building has gone vertical. Uh, it's 23,000 square feet. The only confirmation so far is Cottonwood Title in there. They do have some other spaces that they're working through. I uh, just don't have any confirmation just yet. That one should be done by the end of the year. And to finish out Commerce Point, crossing uh, Auto Mall Drive, we've got a Bank of Utah that's set to go in on the corner. Uh, they're going through plans right now, as well as the rest of the eight acres that will be more retail restaurants. All of that is in planning. Uh, no confirmation of what's coming just yet, uh, but a lot more retail and restaurants on their way. Now we'll head northbound on Bluff Street where we've got a couple other projects in the works, uh, mostly renovations of older buildings turning into new businesses. Uh, the first we've got the old St. George car wash that has been acquired by Quick Quack. I don't have a time frame on that just yet, uh, but they are going in there and construction on that should start soon. Uh, from there we've got Chef Alfredo's that has gone in that old restaurant building there. Uh, they've renovated it, turned it into uh, the Italian restaurant that everyone loves here that used to be downtown. Going across the street from there, we've got uh, the th Studio 359 building that's been renovated. Intercap Landing is now in there and Studio 359 as well. They've redone the whole building uh, and turned it into something really cool. Now just crossing back over into the old Dairy Queen building, we've got another Fizz drink shop going in. Uh, they aren't sure exactly how they're gonna retrofit this building. Uh, or renovate it, but it is in the works. They are confirmed. Uh, I should have more info soon. Then just a little bit down the road from there, we've got the old Pizza Hut building that's now turned into a rusty crab daddy. Looks like the exterior is completely done. Not sure the status of the inside or when they plan to open, uh, but I know it should be soon. And a lot of people are looking forward to another seafood place here in town. Then to finish off right up here, we've got the old Kmart complex that a lot of people ask about all the time. Uh, it's going to be turned into a, a complex called St. George Place. They're going to renovate the whole exterior, interior. There's no confirmation just yet. Unfortunately, a lot of people really want it to be a Hobby Lobby or a Trader Joe's, uh, but no confirmation just yet what's going to happen. The signs do say that to expect it in fall of 2024 to be completed. Um, as soon as I have more info on here, I'll definitely update it. Now to finish out this exit, we'll head back to along the freeway where we've got two big buildings going in. The first being Saint, which is a makeup brand. Uh, their building is gonna be a mix of warehouse uh, where they can manufacture and ship out, as well as office space. Uh, looks like they're making good progress. Don't have a time frame on that yet, uh, but should be done in the next couple months. Uh, crossing the freeway, we've got another office space that's gone vertical and is now framed. No confirmation on who's going in here yet, but it is a three-story office space uh, and should look to be a really nice addition right off this exit. Then just a little further down the street, we've got one of my favorite restaurants, Aki's, uh, which is under new ownership. They've redone the whole inside. They've actually changed the name to Aki's uh, Fresh Woke and Jabba. Uh, so I'm really excited about this one. Uh, look forward to seeing some of the new additions they have on the menu. And lastly, we've got the underpass tunnel that was recently just installed underneath Bluff Street. Uh, it'll be a trail system that connects both sides. Uh, they still got construction working on it, but that'll be a nice addition for this exit as well. And that's a wrap, guys. As you can see, a lot of good stuff happening here on exit six, right in the heart of St. George. Uh, love the addition of both new developments, new buildings, as well as the renovation of old vacant buildings. 
Uh, it's a good combo. I'm really looking forward to seeing this uh, exit progress even more. For more info on what's happening here in Southern Utah, you can call me or text me 435-668-7293 or find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Thanks guys.